you. So, back. so here's the problem. Your first wife. My expectation and hope is that everybody will vote for this jobs bill because it reflects those ideas that traditionally have been supported by both Democrats and Republicans. If it turns out that there are Republicans who are opposed to this bill, they need to explain to me, but more importantly to their constituencies and the American people, why they're opposed and what would they do. And Dems too. We know that this jobs bill, based on independent analysis, could grow the economy uh, almost an additional 2%. That could mean an additional 1.9 million jobs. Do they have a plan that would have a similar impact? We have a plan for you not to be Because if they do, I'm happy to hear it. Uh, but I haven't heard them offer alternatives that would have that same kind of impact, and that's what we need right now. Yep. That's uh, good stuff. Should we stay with it? Or, uh, yeah, I... I you know that that does annoy the bejesus out of me. What? Why are the so are any Senate Democrats against this? I mean, he gets makes a good case for why are you against this? For what reason are you not for creating 1.9 million Mr. jobs? Mitch McConnell threatened to kill me with a rock. With his beak. That's Mitch McConnell. Mitch I McConnell. think Obama needs to wear a Reagan mask for Halloween and just go out to the American people, the Republicans. <laughs> well, well, I think these loopholes for rich people ought to be closed. Yeah. yeah. And then, hey, it's me, mother. Wait, that's, that's yeah. been everywhere. We played it. It's been on TV. And it's just nothing from no. Republicans. No reaction. No. It's like, what? Well, how come when Reagan said the exact same thing? You... They do exactly mm -hmm. with Jesus what they do with Reagan. Mm -hmm. Pick out the parts we don't like yeah. and create a new one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, uh, t let's see. Uh, Jeannie in Ithaca with a good point about Steve uh, Jobs. Hello, Jeannie. Hi. Um, I was uh, calling in response to that caller who, uh, you know, spewed forth that Republican crap that uh, individuals make themselves and Steve Jobs provided millions of jobs, which, of course, he did. Right. But I am wondering if these uh, right-wing cretinous rankers uh, would still want to support him as a, an idol of individualism if they knew that he was born to a Syrian father. Yeah, yeah. And he was adopted by the Jobs family in California. And he slept on the floors of friends while he took LSD. And he went to India and came back in Buddhist robes. And he said, on Wikipedia, it's his bio, he said that um, many of his colleagues did not agree with him or understand his philosophy of life. He was a total product of the counterculture, a biracial kid, a child of a Muslim, hmm, much like our sitting president mm. created millions of jobs, but somehow Obama's jobs don't count, and Steve Jobs' jobs do. Jeannie, I think he should change the, the name of it to the Steve Jobs bill and dare them to vote against it. That's right. Ah. That's what mm. I think. The Ronald Reagan bill. Exactly. I call it the Ronald Reagan closing the tax loopholes bill. Well, there I go again. <laughs> There I go. Oh, uh, here is a, here's some of the uh, Republican response to the jobs bill, which, as usual, makes no sense. Uh, what's his name? Rep uh, Republican from Texas, Louis Gomert. He's a Gomert, isn't he? He's just surprise, a Gomert. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Deceitful, deceitful, deceitful. <laughs> he calls Obama's job plan an assault on marriage that encourages divorce. Uh-huh. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, that's crazy, Scoob. He pointed to tax deductions for single parents and unmarried couples as proof the bill is actually a stealth assault on traditional marriage. The so-called jobs bill he charged actually encourages divorce and may even be secretly advancing a pro-gay agenda. It's a gay jobs bill. He said this, he literally All right, said you this. you got me. I'm promoting right. jobs and yes. uh, I, uh, Check this out. He actually said on the floor of Congress, this may be something nice he's throwing out for gay folks. And together, so he can tell them that they're actually better to, off not getting married because there's the a marriage. Gay agenda, yo. Gay agenda. agenda. Um, actually, giving single parents and unmarried couples a similar, a similar tax exemption as a married couple is not, of course, an assault on marriage, but an attempt to level the playing field. President Obama has, in fact, kept his promise to end marriage penalties in the tax code in addition to extending child tax credits. Level Clearly, playing his aim field is, is to, use, gay. to use the tax code to help all families married or not. Yeah, and what about the. the like gay people in California, do I can't get married. So how? You know what I mean? Like that's the, that, that's penalizing people that, that can't get married or, or don't want to for whatever reason. Uh, that's what you get for making that life choice. That's right. He just you listened to Jesus. You shouldn't have chose to be left-handed. That's right. You're a witch. You're a gay witch. <laughs> if she weighs as much as a duck, then, then she's, she's made, made of wood, wood and, and therefore. therefore oh, yeah! Yeah! That's the kids that need to be separated.
graduated in school. And I'm just, I'm like a hall monitor. It's all I am. George Harrison actually funded Life of Brian. Oh, it's a Christ. different movie than Holy Grail, but that's the truth, man. <laughs> Tom in California. Multi-Python. Hi, Steph. Um, I uh, I'm a blind person, and I, I use uh, an iPhone. And I just wanted to say is what, what Steve Jobs has done uh, for the blind uh, community. I mean, uh, they, they have put a quality screen reader on all their computers, yeah. on all their iDevices, <laughs> without any fanfare. And, you know, I, I have a PC, and uh, for my computer anyway, and for a blind person to get a computer to work, once you buy the computer, it's going to cost you almost $1,000 just to get that thing to talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I just think it's, it's outstanding that what, what he has done, with, uh, and again, without any fanfare, yeah. and uh, to put uh, blind people on an equal playing field is great. Yep, absolutely. Thank you, uh, Tom. Let's go to Roz in Atlanta. Steve Jobs had a blind agenda, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Steph. Roz in Atlanta. Hi. Yeah, I'm helping the, the handicapped French and gay. Hello, Roz. Hey. You know, for the guy that called it, wanted to know why these occupiers are not out looking for jobs, and for the people that say that there's plenty of jobs available at McDonald's, let me tell you, I used to be in charge of hiring and firing people, and I would never hire anybody for a $12,000 a year that made 20000 or more the previous year. So it's not that easy just to go out and get a job where people are hiring because you don't hire people that made way more in their previous job. And why shouldn't they be on Wall Street? I thought those are the people who are handing out jobs. Why aren't those guys on Wall Street handing out applications? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought to say people the Tea Party guys were protesting. <laughs> Wall Street. Exactly. Uh, Arnold in North Carolina. Hi, Arnold. Hello, Mama. Or oh, should I say, this is a subject matter of Chairman King. Hello, Mammy. How you doing today? <laughs> Yikes. Now, listen, uh, I am really terribly, I usually call you Charlotte because I'm clever and witty and quick, but the day I want to rant on the caller who called about Herman Cain, the role model for all blacks. Yes. Oh, it made, it made, they made me so it says, black people, I'm going to just be up, put it up, put it up there. Black people think Herman Cain is a toady, an Uncle Tom, a shoe shine, a hanger's your head. Please get that through your, through your mind. He, this, man, this man has no plan for no black people. He don't know. And then he said this thing about black people are brainwashed because they don't vote. For the conservatives, it's like yeah. saying Kurt, uh, Colonel Sanders' uh, chickens are going to vote for him. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, 18 minutes after the hour, uh, kids. How do we keep?